Hello, racing and boating enthusiasts from wherever you may be watching. I'm Jerry Albrecht with John White, president of the Southern Drag Boat Association. Today, we are in Bryan, Texas, where we are preparing to bring you the SDBA Lake Bryan Nationals. You know, Jerry, as we look across these calm waters, it's hard to imagine the hurricane that is about to hit as these boats will turn these waters into white caps and foam with speeds up to 250 miles an hour. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. On or off the track, Manor House Inn is the home of racing enthusiasts who enjoy old world charm with all the modern conveniences. Manor House Inn is proud to be the official host hotel for the Southern Drag Boat Association and Texas World Speedway. Manor House Inn, your home away from home. Here comes the next up, it's the final in Pro Modified. He's about to be running on a 420 index. Outside in the Dr. Performance Lane boat number 045, out of Kerrville, Texas, is gonna be Jason Brand in Thunderstruck, sponsored by Glen Ray Racing and Brand Racing. Inside, the badass diecast lane, out of Blanchard, Oklahoma, the fastest cop in Oklahoma City. Jimmy Parsons in being blown. Sponsored by Oliver Brothers Transmissions, Yesterday's Sports Bar, Steve's Pool Service, City Vending, Commercial Music Company, Smoke Pit Barbecue, Poncho's Liquor Town, Beaver Fab, Compressed Gas and Supply, Eric Chapman, and Top Speed Cards. and runner-up Jason Brandt of 555. Wow, what a run. Both boats left the holding rope almost at the same time with only four thousandths of a second separating them. Jason fell off the pace having mechanical difficulties. However, Jimmy had a great run. Notice the sponsons bouncing on the water equating to tire shake on a funny car. Jimmy was able to keep the boat under control with his driving skills taking a good win. That brings us up to the second class for the afternoon, John Pro Eliminator. This is an eight second elapsed time class craft. Any type of engine allowed, no cubic inch restrictions. The fuel can be gasoline, methanol, or nitrous, with any hull configuration. This craft utilizes a heads up starting system. Now let's go back to Roger Monroe for the introduction for the next race. All right, the final. In Pro Eliminator, these boats running on an eight second flat dial in in the quarter. However, in the eighth mile, it's a 460 dial in. Outside, in the Dr. Performance Lane, boat number 070, 
out of Cement, Oklahoma, is going to be Dan Rogers in flat black. Inside is going to be Randy Benson in full blown. Outside from Cement, Oklahoma, in the doctor performance by Dan Rogers in flat black. Sponsored by Big Dog Custom Work, Palmer Oil Field Consulting, Little Dog Tackle Service, Mr. Cage, Mom and Dad, and a thanks to the Desperado team. Inside the badass diecast lane from Mansfield, Texas, Randy Benson in full blown. Sponsored by Dr. Performance Diesel Specialist, Wino Racing, Ferryman Products, Temsco, Finco Security, Crosslink Powder Coating, Oil Purple, Bruce's Welding, Reasoner Trailers, and Don Dallas Motorsports. And by the way, this boat is for sale in the inside lane. And we have a double breakout. Outside lane of 452, inside lane of 459, your winner, Randy Benson. This is a prime example of two different types of pro eliminators. Dan is in a flat bottom which rides on the capitation plate on the back of the boat and is propeller driven. The hydroplane rides on the sponsons on the front half of the boat and only half the propeller on the back. A double breakout means that both boats ran too quick. Dan, however, was a little bit anxious on the starting line with an 092 red light which eliminated him right off the bat. All right, the final in top eliminator. Outside in the doctor performance lane, boat number 494 out of Galveston Island near Texas is going to be George Olson in See Ya, sponsored by West End Electric, Master Plumbing Contractors, Players Investments, SI Cytex Plastics, Ready Ice, Fiesta Mart, and Wino Racing and Wino Catering. Inside, the badass diecast lane out of Van Cleve, Mississippi, Dallas Collier in another temptation. Sponsored by KM Enterprises, Fort Ramsey Corner Store, Sellers Marine, Grammar, Star Cards, Star Cam, GM Construction, Fine Line Communications, McQueenie Bikini Company, and Grumpy and Miss Jerry. Final and top eliminator. takes the win with a 507 to a quicker 506. But Dallas Collier cut an 055 light. George Olson cut an 077 light. So Dallas Collier, your winner at a 507 to a runner up quicker 506. These guys were both on top of their game, cutting .0 lights. Dallas won with a hole shot, meaning that he left the line 22 thousandths of a second sooner than George who actually ran a little bit quicker. Only 12 thousandths of a second separated these two boats at the finish line. Congratulations, Dallas. Badass Diecast introduces the 118th scale Diecast Top Fuel Drag Boat. The inaugural release consists of six of today's top race teams in top fuel hydros. Each model handcrafted and decorated just like the actual race version. The investment grade collectibles are $119 plus shipping and handling. Sign up to receive all six models and receive a free custom wall case that holds all six limited edition models with serial numbers. Call 888-223-2774 or visit diecastbadass.com.
Okay, here we go. Final input to watercraft. Outside in the Dr. Performance Lane, number 837 and the High Points Champion for 2006 out of Ponder, Texas, is going to be Bruce Johnson on Silver Street. Sponsored by d &E Performance, Mac Tools, Sport Clips, and Mama's 401k. Inside in the badass diecast lane out of Marble Falls, Texas, is going to be Chad Major Kurth on Aquafine, sponsored by Temptation Swimwear by McQueenie Bikini Company, JDH Construction, Highland Lakes Watercraft, El Rio Marina, Farmhouse Restaurant, Major Excavators, Palhanna Farms, JM Kinsey Plumbing, Sinographics, and Integrated Metal Products. Bruce Johnson. Outside on Silver Street, Chad Major Kurt. Inside on Aquafine. This is the final in personal watercraft. We have the High Points champion in the outside lane and the runner up in High Points in the inside lane. Bruce Johnson's pretty tough. Finish line, a breakout, and a red light. Inside lane, Chad Major Kurt, red light, losing your winner, Bruce Johnson. A 789 on the run. On Bruce's run, you will notice how he lays forward on the ski to get it off the starting line. And as he goes down the track, he slides back on the ski. This is to keep it in the proper run attitude. Thank you, John. That brings us to fifth class boats for the afternoon. It's the River Racer class. These are handicap start system type starts. They have four to 500 horsepower per craft with speeds up to 70 and 80 miles an hour. But they cannot be quicker than 12 seconds or they will be eliminated. Let's go back to Lakeside and listen to Roger Monroe with the call. All right, got the thumbs up, going yellow. Outside the Dr. Performance Lane, Mike Albright in. What are the odds inside the badass die cast lane? Bill Mason. This is the final in River Racer. And at the finish line, your winner, Mike Albright, takes the win. He runs a 668 on a 655 to win, and Bill Mason a 724 on a 716 for the runner-up. Bill driving the outboard dialed in a 716 on this particular run, and he ran a 724. Mike in the jet boat won on the starting line as he cut an awesome .008 light. That's eight thousandths of a second to the green light. As you've seen, the reaction time is electronically recorded and is factored in with the run time playing a key role in determining the winner. This brings us to the sixth class for the afternoon, which is Stock Eliminators. This is an 11 second boat class. They run on gasoline, which gives them a total horsepower of between 450 and 500 horsepower, which means they can maintain speeds of 75 to 85 miles an hour. They can also use any hull configuration. All right, Stock Eliminator, final run for the money. Outside in the Dr. Performance Lane, boat number 149 out of Hazel, Texas, Brent Fugate in Quaker Jack. Sponsored by Metal Tech, Raymond and Sherry Jones, Randy's Construction, Wino Racing, Don Dallas Motorsports, and Duck Mathis Racing Engines. Inside the badass diecast lane out of Fargo, Oklahoma, Doug Hamaker in Haymaker. Sponsored by Blakely Creative. Doug Hamaker got the High Points Championship sewed up in his rookie year. And at the finish line, your winner, your winner, Brent Fugate, takes the win, a 6.17 on a six flat dialing. In this particular final, both boats are jet boats. Brent gets away from the starting line first with a .104 reaction time. Notice how the boat 
is running on the jet pump located at the back of the boat. Water and wind conditions not only affect the boats as they're running down the track, but they also play an important role at the holding rope. Brenda's having to adjust the position on the rope to ensure he remains within that 85 foot wide lane. Thank you very much, John. That brings us to the seventh class for boats for the afternoon. It's also the last class for this segment of the show. But now we're into the 10 second boats. They're getting faster, folks. This is gasoline or alcohol fuel, six to 700 horsepower, which lets them maintain speeds of 85 to 95 miles an hour. They can also use any type of pole configuration. Okay, next pair of boats. Outside in the doctor performance plane. This is the final and modified eliminator. Out of Walters, Oklahoma, is gonna be Clay Copeland in cubic dollars. Found by Reasoner Trailers. Hills of X Mechanical, Victory One, Vintage Trailers, and Lethal Injection Racing. Inside the badass diecast lane, out of Belt Verde, Texas, it's gonna be Bob Moore in Shockwave. Sponsored by Protexit Coatings, Marina Beach RV Resort, and Robert Moore. Notice here as Clay takes off, he puts a little left rudder in it and then takes it back out, adjusting for wind conditions. By this we mean that he is turning the steering wheel left and then straightening it back out. Hydroplanes will run faster when the steering wheel is kept straight. Congratulations to Clay on his 2006 Lake Bryan Dragboat Nationals win in Modified Eliminator. Badass Diecast introduces the 118th scale Diecast Top Fuel Drag Boat. The inaugural release consists of six of today's top race teams in top fuel hydros. Each model handcrafted and decorated just like the actual race version. The investment grade collectibles are $119 plus shipping and handling. Sign up to receive all six models and receive a free custom wall case that holds all six limited edition models with serial numbers. Call 888-223-2774 or visit DiecastBadass.com. Next up, the eight class for the afternoon is Top Alcohol Flats. These are funny cars of drag boats. For you folks who watch like to watch drag racing and automobiles, it's about a 565 cubic inch. Screw type floors are not allowed. Boat is operated by foot pedals, which gives them a quarter mile of 6.5 seconds. Speeds approaching 170 miles an hour. Let's go back to Lakeside and listen to Roger Monroe with the call. The final in top alcohol flat bottom outside in the doctor performance plane rick Bryan in texas heat inside in the badass die cast plane rusty hoffman in hooligan all right we got the thumbs up outside out of anna whack texas it's going to be rick bryant in the doctor performance plane in texas heat sponsored by joe halliday engine and machine and frantic and fuel system Inside the badass diecast lane from Arlington, Texas, Rusty Hoffman in Hooligan. Sponsored by Terry Havens Fabrications Limited and Ed the Crab. The final in top alcohol flat bottom. the 
finish line, your winner, Rusty Hoffman, takes the win, a 408 to a runner-up, 425 for Rick Bryant in the outside lane. Alcohol Flats have two pedals that the pilot controls the boat with. As he leaves the starting line, he will push the down pedal to control the nose of the boat. Once the boat takes a set, he will push the up or lockout pedal to keep the boat in the correct run attitude, which is with the nose slightly up and riding on the tail or back of the boat. Let's have Jerry tell us a little bit about the next class. That brings us to the ninth class of boats for the afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. They're called the Top Alcohol Hydros. They use methanol as fuel, 565 cubic inch on a supercharged fuel injected 3,000 horsepower engine, quarter of a mile, 5.3 seconds, and speeds approaching 230 miles an hour. Let's go back to the lakeside and listen to Roger Monroe with the call. All right, the final and top alcohol hydro, a pair of Tim Stokes hydros outside in the doctor performance lane. It's going to be boat number 277 out of you follow Oklahoma, Tim Stokes. In Widowmaker, sponsored by Drag Boat Review, MSD Ignition, Auto Drill, Porter Cool, Tulsa Sheet Metal, Broken Arrow Power Coating, and North Fork Marine Manufacturing. Inside, in the badass die cast lane, out of Midland, Texas, is going to be James Ray in Tequila Sunrise, sponsored by Legacy Elite Athletics. Auto Drill and SJ Auto Brokers. Both of these boats built and prepared by Tim Stokes. The Doctor Performance Lane outside, Tim Stokes in Widowmaker. The Badass Die Cast Lane inside, James Ray, Tequila Sunrise. for the runner-up. So Tim Stokes, your winner. James Ray, the runner-up. A 321 for Tim Stokes and a 330 for James Ray. Just as the numbers start counting down, the pilot has got to calculate the water current and wind prior to letting go of the holding rope and closing the capsule because once the lid is closed, the pilot is unable to adjust his position on the track. Unlike the open boats you saw earlier, the driver is unable to put rudder off the starting line in these faster boats because it will upset the takeoff, causing the boat to walk on the sponsons. That brings us to the 10th class of boats for the afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. These are top fuel hydros. Fastest accelerating boats in the world. 565 cubic inches, supercharged fuel injection, nitromethane fuel engine, 7,000 horsepower, put that in your car. Quarter mile in four and a half to five seconds with speeds approaching 250 miles an hour. All right, final and top fuel hydro outside in the doctor performance lane. Boat number 1724 out of Round Rock, Texas is gonna be Daryl Mad Max Ehrlich driving for Dennis Gibson in the Berryman Bullet. Sponsored by Pioneer Fasteners and Tools, Milwaukee Fine Tools, Bullet Fiberglass, Berryman Products, The Good Stuff, Hooters Restaurants, Atlas Electric, Hot Licks Enterprises, Drag Boat Review, and Matula Paint. Inside, the badass diecast lane. Out of New Brunswick, Texas, Dennis and Carla Gibson's Hot Licks Boat with John White doing the driving. Sponsored by Pioneer Fasters and Tools, Milwaukee Fine Tools, Watercraft by Wolf, Berryman Products, Hooters Restaurants, Atlas Electric, Hot Licks Enterprises, Drag Boat Review, Performance Machine, and Matula Paint. This is the number one and number two points man right here. Okay, waiting for the thumbs up from the drivers. All right, we got the thumbs up and we're going yellow. The Dr. Performance Lane outside, Darrell Ehrlich in the Berryman Bullet. Inside, the badass diecast lane, John White and Hot Licks. The final run of the final race of the 2006 racing season.
And the hot licks boat is failing to start. And Daryl Ehrlich lays down a 310. 310 in the eighth mile. There's your winner, Dennis Gibson's boat. The Berryman Bullet, Darryl Ehrlich driving your winner in top fuel. John White will be the runner up. The Bullet Boat was a little under horsepower as you notice the water coming up over the nose. This style of boat is called an outrigger boat as opposed to the conventional hydroplane style on the Hot Licks boat. Hot Licks Enterprise owner Dennis Gibson is currently the only one campaigning both holes and has found the outrigger requires more horsepower on the starting line However, it runs with less drag going down the track. We hope you have enjoyed watching one of the most exciting and growing spectator sports in the country. Due to the increasing wind conditions and the safety of our pilots, the final runs were reduced to an eighth mile course, which made for the shorter elapsed time. Thank you, John. So for everyone who helped make this show possible, I'm Jerry Albrecht with John White from Lake Bryan, Texas, wishing you all safe boating and reminding you that you have to be at these events in person to feel the rush. So plan on checking the official website. I look forward to seeing you there. John, let's go racing.